Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. It's also a frustrating video. We might get into that in this video. We may not. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm about to pick up some new Bing Bangs, and I'm going to tell you why I had to get them. And I'm pretty excited about them. It's frustrating. Uh, ah, we're not going to get into that. Comment down below if you want to hear all about that, but it, it involves the police and uh, them not giving one of my Bing Bangs back, which is associated with the big story, but it's a long story. They told me two months ago that I could get the thing back and uh, they still won't give it back. Give me the runaround. They're not there today. But yeah, two months ago, they said that they would release one of my Bing Bangs and they're just not doing it. Um, yeah, never let any Bing Bangs get taken. I'm telling you, you they just don't want to give them back. I don't understand it. I know several police um, that are good people, and but for whatever reason, they don't like giving you bing bangs back, even if you're a stand-up citizen like me. Anyways, I'm down here on the square at Tolliver's. You guys know the spot. Uh, picking up my bing bangs here. Let me flip this camera around. That's the spot. Tolliver's Pawn. But anyways, I don't know if I'm going to film in there sometimes. They're always packed in there. And it's just kind of weird to film uh, when you're picking stuff up. And around a lot of people. Anyways, I'm going to jump in here. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys these uh, new ones and tell you why I picked them up. Pretty excited. Alright, so big old box here. That's got the three bing bangs in it that we're talking about in this video. Don't pay any attention to that Bergara box. That's a secret for another time. But uh, let's run to the house and see what's in this cardboard box. I'm pretty excited about it. If you watched the video recently on my top five budget deer stopping machines, uh, these are on that list. So I'm super excited to get them out and get them to the range. But Let's get back to the house and see what's in the box. All right, so back at the house, and I'm super excited to show you what I got in this box. So, big old square box, uh, and it's heavy. I cut the flap open, and I briefly looked at one of these things that was in here, but I didn't take the other two out. So look, we got one, two, three. One, two, three. I should have gone up. But right here, what do we got? Ooh, Midnight Bronze Cerakote 270. Uh, Cerakote Gray 243. And this says a black 300 Wind Mag. So I don't know what these look like, uh, but I'm fixing to show you. Uh, I took one out of the box, and I think it was a 243. Generally speaking, it's always good to inspect your stuff at the shop. Make sure that the bolt's in there and all the pieces. But, hey, I do business with these people all the time, and I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but, which one is this? I'm so excited, I didn't even look. Uh, this says that it's standard Cerakote Midnight Bronze Black Hoke Stock 270. So, if you saw my video, like I said, the top five budget friendly deer catchers these three were on that list and i'm gonna tell you straight up what these are these are all howa 1500s shout out to state line precision in logan sport louisiana that is where i got these they are good folks down there and uh yeah pretty sweet uh, the whole reason why I got these was because I'm replacing everything that doesn't have a threaded barrel with stuff that does have a threaded barrel. And this 270 doesn't have a threaded barrel. <laughs> so I got the wrong one. Whoops. Oh, well. So now we got a 270. Uh, let me show you here real quick. This... Like I said, I thought I was ordering them all with threaded barrels. That is not a threaded barrel. But 
of whoops anyways I don't know if this is gonna pick it up but that has that bronze Cerakote and these are Howa 1500s so I'm pretty sure the 243 had a threaded barrel we might just have to test this one out and then get rid of this one and get another one with a threaded barrel uh, but Howa 1500s like I said in my video good triggers really affordable these are the Hogue stocks and you can pick these up for uh, not a whole lot of pounds of beans but this is the 270 I thought I'd order one with a threaded barrel but whoopsies apparently I did now these other two 243 and this 270 has a black stock with the bronze Cerakote well, the whole reason, let me show you real quick. So, I have a 270 in a Weatherby. Woo, look at that high gloss. But, the Weatherby is not threaded. I need a 270 that I can put a shusher on. But, I can't put a shusher on either of these 270s now. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, yeah, down there in Louisiana, I was on a road trip in Logansport. And just happened upon this place. And they're good folks. <laughs> This is the 243. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I, was, I saw had a threaded barrel. Yep. So this one, it's the same thing, essentially. Looks like a different color. Does it say 243 on the side? Uh, yep. 243 win. Howa 1500. Yep. If you didn't know, supposedly these are also the same as Weatherby Vanguards, that they make them in Japan. Uh, and actually, you know what? That's what these other ones are. So, if you look, if you look at the safety, the safety is the same. See how it looks exactly the same? How a 1500, supposedly, and from the looks of this, is the same thing as the uh, Weatherby Vanguards. But, uh, like I said, I'm trying to swap out all of my non-threaded stuff for threaded stuff. This 243 does have a threaded barrel, so we can put the shushers on there. Hey, action smooth. I like that a lot. Triggers. Oh, you gotta have a safety belt. Good triggers. I said it in the video where I talked about the top five deer hunting rigs. A lot of people are sleeping on the Howa 1500s. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe they don't do as much marketing as some other companies, but I found them and I like them. Give you a look at the, the face of the trigger there. Essentially a flat face trigger, clean break, and that is light right out of the box. I'm not the best at guessing trigger weights, but that's can't be far from two pounds, if not right on. And these Howas also have that uh, sub MOA guarantee. Three under one inch conditions apply. Fine print. So we got a 270 with no threaded barrel, a 243 with the threaded barrel. Now this other one, and I, I don't think I showed you, but I have the matching Weatherby's right here. So I'm still debating on, do I keep them? Do I get rid of them? Help me pay the bill on these new ones. Hard to get rid of these high gloss Weatherby's. Oh, they're super nice. But, I can't put my shusher machines on them, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, then this last one, like I said, is a 300 wind mag. Hopefully this thing's threaded. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be making a whole lot of noise. Now, I actually already got rid of my previous 300 wind mag. I already got rid of it. Because I was expecting in the near future to get one with a threaded barrel. So, 
300 wind mag. And it has a threaded barrel. Mm -hmm. This one looks like it's black on black, so let me get this out of here real quick. So, same thing, 300 wind mag. At least that's what the box said. Uh, Howell 1500, made in Japan. 300 wind mag. Check it out. The 300 wind mag is a 24 inch barrel. I believe the rest of them, the other two are 22 inch barrels. Yeah, 22 inch barrels. It's got some dust on it. It's been sitting somewhere uh, at the distributor for a while. Anyways, but 300 wind mag. It's got the threaded barrel on there. So that is the three that I just picked up. Now I have a 300 wind mag. We can do 300 wind mag videos. Let's test that trigger. Is it just as good as the 243? Oh yeah, I mean, it's the exact same trigger. I dig it. Now I'm gonna have to find up some, some bases. I know for a fact I don't have those. I don't know what the Howl 1500s take, if they take a Savage 110 like a bunch of other stuff, but I think Howl 1500s, they take the same thing as the Weatherbees, uh, but I'm not sure what else. This is long action. But yeah, that was the whole purpose of the picking these three up. Threaded 300 wind mag, threaded 243, and this was supposed to be a threaded 270, but whoops, it's not. Uh, anyways, uh, we might just have to get rid of this one and then order another one with a threaded barrel. Anyways, I like the color. That's pretty cool, though. I really like that color. Anyways, appreciate y'all coming along with me. Howell 1500s. A bunch of people, like I said, are sleeping on the Howell 1500s. They're great. At least all my experience with them up until now. Hopefully these turn out good too. But hey, appreciate y'all coming along with me. Quick video, picking up three new Boulot Slingers. Hopefully, not hopefully, I could just about guarantee we're going to find some ammunition that they like. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, guys. Appreciate you guys watching big time. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo.